So strategy is the fastest course in the absence of all other boats. Um, it's local knowledge and pre-sailing planning, you know, how well you know where that wind shift's gonna come from or what happens when the fog burns off. We don't really have tide in Berkeley, so that simplifies things a lot, but all those, all those things that make a local to a venue beat all the non-locals to the venue consistently. Um, it's knowing how the race course is biased in terms of, you know, is the top mark too far to the left or right? Is one set of the starting line favored? Um, is one of the gates favored on the bottom? Uh, wind differences across the course, is there more wind on the left or the right? Knowing where the wind's gonna come from on the next shift and uh, trim and tuning decisions. I like to lump in anything that is that has to do with knowing where to set your tuning on your boat as um, a strategy thing. So that to me includes everything down to, you know, knowing it's six knots. I'm in a JY, this is where I need to have my alcohol set up to. Uh, so here's how you look at your strategy and you train it. So every time you finish a leg, you need to go through, and I, I really mean every time, upwind leg, downwind leg, even the short leg to the finish line, you need to go through and think about the strategic decisions that the boats that you made as well as the other boats made um, and compare those to each other. And so this can be really hard. Like, let's say you have six boats in the starting line. You have a whole range of skill levels. So if you have a really good sailor come off the left side of the line and beat you to the top mark, it's really hard to say, was that strategy, was that just boat speed? Um, did they get a really good start? But what can be really helpful is to figure out who on the race course is kind of a similar speed to you, or maybe a little bit slower, um, or a little bit faster, and compare how you're doing to them. Like if you bang it out to the right side of the course and they go left, when you come back to get a top mark, that's gonna tell you a lot about what just happened. Um, assuming you didn't have like a really bad tack or something, because that can really screw that up. So every leg you need to go through, and, and I really mean like talk it out with your crew. Say, I think that going right, you know, saved us a little bit. We caught that good puff on the right side. Let's look for that on the next um, upwind leg. Or even better, like you're coming around the top mark. You should be, if you're setting a long enough course, you should be deciding whether to reach, wing, or jive. That's the decision every time you come around the top mark is reach, wing, or jive. Either you're gonna go course left, looking up the course, um, the top mark being up to your left is the reach, straight down is wing, or jive is course right. So if you're coming up the right side of the course and you see a lot of wind on the right, then you're gonna know it's a jive around that top mark to stay in that puff. Um, or having the knowledge to say, hey, it's 22 knots. I'm not gonna jive even though course right is better because I might capsize and capsizing is super slow. So every time you come around a leg, you gotta be thinking through how your strategic decisions affected your leg and um, affected other people's legs. And that knowledge is gonna really help you in the next race. Uh, and this is where like, I work with a lot of sailors who have way too many resources. Like these, I, I've worked on some programs in the East Coast where we had five really strong coaches and only about seven kids on the race team. But even these kids needed to be able to self coach because when you're in the middle of a race, your coach can't be yelling stuff out to you with the megaphone. So you need to be able to self coach and say, I just finished this leg. What did I learn from this leg? And how can I sell the next leg of the race better? Uh, and even better after every race and after every day, just adding this knowledge of the course and maybe starting some sort of a, a notebook recording conditions. I had this when I was racing in college. I had um, a notebook where I kept notes on every venue um, to, and it was really helpful. You know, you show up at a venue, a lot of you guys don't sail a lot of different venues, but maybe for CSC, you've got your winter venue, your summer venue, your fall and spring venue, morning, after, afternoon, evening. Um, like I see it a lot at CSC when the wind goes southeast, then no one seems to know what to do anymore because it's all built around that consistent 18 knots west wind with the strong waves. Um, but CSC is a completely different venue when you have the southeast wind coming down that channel from the toilet bowl. So uh, having a notebook on those conditions is gonna get you way ahead. And um, that could be a great thing to do. So every time that you show up to a race, uh, you need to go through and sail the whole course. So you need to go out, rig up your boat quickly, 
and sail the course. And I mean, like, if you imagine every place in the course that you could possibly be without being above a ley line, you need to go to that part of the course because you might miss that there's really strong wind all the way out to the left side of the course um, or really weak wind in the middle or something like that. So kind of methodically sail through the course and taking note of where you're seeing the strong wind, uh, where the waves might be really choppy and annoying, uh, what the start line looks like. Chances are almost everywhere. In fact, I can't think of a single time I've been in a race series and the race course hasn't been biased in some way consistently. Like I've sailed just some stupid courses, like really good teams for really good events setting just some stupid courses where you don't even have to tack to get around the course. So going in and sailing the course, it will be so obvious to you what you need to do when the race starts. And that's how you win the first race in this series. Um, so go through, sail through the start line, look from land um, and figure out the venue. Uh, having a detailed post leg checklist is super helpful. So that just means like when you finish the leg, these are the things that you go through. Like how did my tuning look? Um, how did my decisions look? What did other people do? And you can just leave it there. Um, and then this Race to Win podcast is great. I really like it. They do a lot of keelboat stuff, but they talk a lot about tuning and, I, and uh, a lot of strategy topics. So that's pretty much where I go when I'm wondering about something. It's simple. It's like always like less than 10 minutes, which is about as long as I want to spend watching a sailing video. So I like that. And talking to the sailors who beat you is just always the best thing to do. So um, if someone beats you on a course, especially if they're around the same speed as you, then talk to them, figure out what decision they made, why they made it, and uh, steal their strategies.